Hey everyone, how's it going? Matthew Kadish here, author of the Earthman Jack Space Saga, available over on Amazon.com. So if you want to support the channel, go check us out over there. But in today's video, we are going to be talking about some scary stuff, which basically is Marvel bringing their uh, comic book characters into the horror realm with their Journey into Terror TV series that brings a lot of the scarier uh, Marvel Comics characters like Ghost Rider into the, their own TV series. So we're going to talk about it in today's video. We're going to discuss what potentially could become down the pipeline. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Speaking of Hulu and more adult-oriented stuff, we're going to be talking about uh, the big thing in this article, which was that uh, they're going to be, Marvel TV is going to be offering a lot of new horror or terror-based uh, uh, TV shows on Hulu, particularly Ghost Rider has been confirmed. So uh, if you guys ever watched uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the season where Ghost Rider uh, was there, the Robbie Reyes uh, version of Ghost Rider, uh, he is coming back in his own TV show, uh, which is very exciting. But Marvel also announced a slate of other things that they're uh, going to be uh, tying into uh, what they're calling their uh, journey into terror uh, ser series. So uh, basically, Loeb says uh, they're getting this brand that's known throughout the world. It was just a different kind of strategizing. Uh, uh, Marvel Adult Animation is on Hulu, for example. Uh, we were talking with them AKA, in, in terms of them, Hulu, and they started scr uh, scratching, scratching because when you look at the success that they've had with Castle Rock in the world of terror, something that really interested us and in interested them and we always knew that we were going to do something with Ghost Rider. We were just waiting for the right place to put it. Then we started having the same conversation, which was there is in the comic book world, the spirit of vengeance. And they are this sort of unusual group of characters which involve Ghost Rider, which involve Hellstrom, and which involve Hellstrom's sister, Anna. We suddenly saw that there were three or four shows that we could put together that we now refer to as Adventure Into Fear. Deadline asks, is that Marvel horror under another name? To which Loeb replies, no, it's terror. Because when you say horror, it means so many different things. There's everything from Saw, which is the last thing we want to do, gore fest kind of thing, to, uh, there, to there's a monster running around. What we love is the notion of how we can present a Marvel hero who was truly feared and truly believed that they were a monster. But then as the story goes on, they realize, oh, I'm the hero of the story. I'm not the villain of the story. That's not something we've ever done before. So we started with Ghost Rider. We went out and managed to get Gabriel Luna to come back and reproduce the role he played on S.H.I.E.L.D. Then we're going to do Hellstrom. And then there's a couple more that we haven't revealed yet. All right. So this is the big news of this article, in my opinion, which is that, uh, you know, they're doing some more adult oriented, uh, um, scary uh, Marvel character shows specifically for Hulu. So like uh, the, the Disney plus stuff, that's for the kiddies, that's for the families. So they're going to leave the edgier stuff out of there. But uh, this is our first inkling of what we can expect to see on the Hulu side of things. And it really seems to me like Marvel TV is focusing on Hulu offerings, whereas uh, Marvel Studios, which is the, the movie side of things, is focusing on Disney Plus. Um, but uh, Matt Vader, what do you think about a Ghost Rider TV show? And uh, the, what do you think are the two other shows that they kind of hinted at? So I quit watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. at the beginning of that hell, that, of that Ghost Rider series. So I uh, I don't know anything about that guy, about that character, how they portrayed him in this show. But um, Ghost Rider in general, I'd love to see a TV show for that. I think that would be fantastic. You know, as if uh, as long as it's good, you know the movies. I enjoyed the movies with Nicolas Cage, so if uh, they're kind of in that vein or 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 whatever, then I think they'll be good. Um, Hellstrom, I don't I don't know what Hellstrom is. I, I don't I'm not familiar with that character. So yeah, I haven't really uh, heard of him either. Um, Steve, yeah. what do you think are going to be the the two shows that uh, that were not yet announced? Who would you like to see from the Marvel scary verse uh, up on TV? God, that's a, such a tough question. I think uh, was it one of the, I always mix these two up: Man Thing and Swamp Thing. <laughs> it's Man Thing for Marvel. Okay, yeah, Man Thing. I, 
I think that's one right there that's a very distinct possibility because they've been talking about that for a while and teasing it, uh, somehow fitting this guy in. Um, as another one, God, that is a tough question. I, you know, I mean, I would have said Ghost Rider, but obviously, you know, maybe they could do something with the other side of, um, of, of the uh, kind of universe where Doctor Strange resides because there's a lot in there. I mean, they have almost like a Cthulhu type. Um, creature uh you know that that the ancient one deals with not uh, that's a possibility too something along those lines i mean getting back uh what's her name for to play the angel one it might be a, a tough shot but it's they're pretty they're playing it close to the chest it's vague so we'll see i mean i'm putting some faith in them i didn't see ghost rider or in agents of shield i bowed out of that show a while back and matt you and i talked about that i mean it was uh the structure of that show just drove me nuts it felt right. like a show from a different era. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, that it, I didn't stick with it. So I never got a chance to see this guy playing, um, uh, you know, uh, Robbie Reyes. So I'd be interested in seeing how they do it off getting it off ABC and onto a, you know, a streaming channel. Well, I did watch that whole season and uh, the Robbie Reyes ghostwriter that uh, Gabriel Luna here um, portrayed was the highlight of that season. Like he was a really good character. They handled him really well. It was a different Ghost Rider from what people who watched the movies or read the comics might might have expected because it wasn't, you know, the Johnny uh, is it Johnny Hell? Uh, I, I forget who the Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze, yeah. Uh, yeah. It wasn't him on his motorcycle, even though like he, he that version of Ghost Rider did kind of make a cameo in the season. Um, but uh, the Robbie Reyes version was new to me. So like I went in there with really no expectations and he was actually really impressive, I thought as a character. And so I'm actually pretty excited about this news. Now, Tom, what I want to ask you is, so the big news at Comic-Con this year was that uh, Marvel came out and they announced a sequel to Doctor Strange, but they also announced that uh, Marshala Ali was coming in. <laughs> Why did I know you were going to ask me this? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> And as Steve mentioned, the Doctor Strange comics actually have a lot of crossover with these kind of like uh, um, journey into terror characters where, you know, you had, you know, the crossover with uh, with Blade, with mm -hmm. Ghost Rider, with uh, uh, Morbius or Mobius, I, I don't know, the, the living vampire guy. Mobius, yeah. Yeah. Who, unfortunately, I think his rights are tied up at Sony, which is... Yeah, they're actually making a movie of him right now, I believe, yeah. with uh, uh, what's-his-face, Jared Leto. Yeah, but my my speculation after they announced uh, the mm -hmm. Blade and the Doctor Strange stuff was that Doctor Strange uh, is going to be like uh, kind of horror or terror yes. centric, and they're going to introduce Blade in that movie and probably use that to spin off a lot of these characters like like Ghost Rider and stuff like that. So, uh, what do you think we can expect in terms of like that type of crossover, and what what do you think the the two unannounced shows are going to be? Well, it's funny you mention it because I was going to go there anyway, kind of. Uh, I, I'm along with Matt and Steve, and I have not seen this version of Ghost Rider. I bowed out of S.H.I.E.L.D. way before that, and for similar reasons it sounds like to Steven, because it just it was just a horribly structured show, and it, it was one of those shows where everybody thinks they're cooler than they really are. That's the problem. <laughs> It's a show that, um, like, it has some really good seasons, and then it, it has some really bad seasons, and it was never very consistent. Right. Yeah, that was the other problem, is it did have some moments, and I do love Coulson, don't get me wrong, but yeah, everybody else in this show just drove me nuts, uh, for the most part. As far as, like, the, the darker side of things, I'm, I'm really surprised at this, because, not to go off of what, what you were saying, but kind of where I'm coming from here is, when I was younger, I swear Ghost Rider was a bigger character than Blade. I don't even really remember Blade until the Wesley Snipes movies, really. I mean, I'd heard of him before that, but I was much more aware of Ghost Rider. So I'm surprised things aren't flip-flopped here. And I'll get to your question in just a moment. I'm surprised that they aren't rebooting Ghost Rider in theaters as a PG-13 Marvel MCU character and leaving Blade for the much darker Hulu show because from what i know from the person that i got my info from on the whole blade situation is they're going to go pg-13 and i said this way back when and they're going to go as hard pg-13 as they can but again like you pointed out to get back around to it his movie is not going to come till down the way and they casted marshall ali is that how you say it Mar Mar marshall marshall yeah i think so. uh they casted him pretty quick 
and for them not to have a Blade movie down the way, I think you're right. He's going to get introduced somewhere early on, and the Doctor Strange movie is a very good possibility because, like Stephen was bringing up, they're opening the Doctor Strange universe to all the the horror elements, like the 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 you know all the the, the darker stuff, like we're talking about here. So the, the, I think there is going to be some crossover here. Now, do I? I don't know though if Ghost Rider and Blade will ever meet. I don't know. That's a big improbability. Since these shows are not going to be on Disney+, Plus, since they're going to be run by Jeff Loeb under ABC Television and not the actual Marvel portion by Kevin Feige, I have a hard time seeing them ever cross over. Now, that is not an, saying that it isn't an impossibility because there's been several characters from the movies who have crossed over onto the other shows because hasn't Samuel Jackson showed up on S.H.I.E.L.D. and um yeah. lady Sif and a few other characters so yeah. you never know blade could pop in at some point in a small cameo and it cross over somewhere there or they could do something in the realm of what steven was talking about and just have what's her face pop in for one quick episode as the chosen one and just like do something to kind of set off the show they could do something like that that could be one of these other shows they have lots of dark characters they can pull from that these two shows could be in a tons of possibilities. Now I'm just surprised because I think Blade would have worked so much better as a TV series. I don't know why they insist on making it a film. And well, it's not confirmed that it's going to be a film yet, right? It is pretty much, as far as I know, a movie. I mean, otherwise, most of my knowledge comes from Wesley Snipes like situation than anything so i can't really comment too much further than that other than i knew you know certain aspects that have already come out so pretty much most of my knowledge is already out there that they were going to go with the whole uh, uh make him uh, uh, uh his religion uh muslim. muslim thank you and stuff like that and i just i knew those kind of things so i was like kind of like on the on the ropes about the whole thing to begin with and it just to me it's like i don't f i feel like their hands are more tied by doing it as a movie to where like ghost rider you can do in pg-13 much better and easier than you can with blade if, if you get what i'm saying there but yeah totally back to your question i do think that they're that's what this door is opening for i think that's what they're going to do with this i think that the doctor strange is going to open the door for these series to exist in a darker much stranger marvel universe yeah, um, as far as the two unannounced series go, I, I think Steve was onto something with with the whole man thing. Um, yeah, yeah. I think that they're definitely going to do that, especially now that DC has kind of given up on Swamp Thing. Uh, there's not going to be a whole lot of... <laughs> That's the only there. reason I'd be like, I don't know, because it's how Swamp Thing turned out. But that has more to do with their filming deal than the actual show, right? Yeah, the, the, there were some behind-the-scenes shenanigans. I, I, from what I hear, the show is actually pretty good. I haven't had a chance to check it out yet. I've heard both sides to it. I've heard it's good. It starts out good and turns to shit. So I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I think that probably might have had something to do with you know the production issues. But um, uh, I also think that there's a possibility, even though he's not su like supernatural necessarily, that uh, the other show could be Moon Knight. Uh, that seems to be uh, that is a character whose names have popped up a couple times. Yes. Yeah. yeah constantly. Actually, I, I keep hearing about Moon Knight. It's like the Batman that's, uh, you know, Marvel Batman. But if you really look at the character, they're not, not exactly that close. Yeah, they're, they're not. But, um, you, you know, Moon Knight has the whole multiple personality disorder thing that uh, could bring him in, into kind of more of the psychological right. terror um, end of things. So that that's always a possibility. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I, I do know that there's some speculation that once the two-year non-compete thing with Netflix goes through that uh, Marvel TV is going to try to bring back a lot of these shows. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. I hope you got a lot out of it. And remember, if you want to support the channel, please check us out on the socials. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Matthew Kadish. You can also find our discussion group over on Facebook at eggfbgroup.com. That's eggfbgroup.com. Takes you right to our Facebook discussion group. And if you'd like to help support the channel, check out my books over on Amazon.com. You can find them by going to kadishbooks.com. That's K-A-D-I-S-H books.com. And as always, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time we upload a new video. For more movie, TV, and entertainment news and analysis, this is Matthew Kadish. I'll catch you guys later.